In our code, we have only saved the final location. But what we'd really like are the intermediate locations. Uh, in fact, we would like the intermediate locations as a function of time. So to get the to preserve the intermediate locations, what we will do is make x into an array. And the first element of the array is going to be the initial location. And then if I come here, the current location is uh, contained in the ith element of the array. And the location after one time step is in the i plus oneth element of the array. Okay? And the acceleration we calculate using the current position, which is in the ith element of the array. So this is the Euler's method. Um, and then we, if we run it using F5, we see that x now is uh, has one row and 101 columns, so it's a row vector with 101 elements. And just while developing the code, let's go back to a fewer number of time steps. So I'll decrease that to 10, rerun, and I see that x is now a row vector with 11 elements. So if I double click on x, it opens up in um, the variable browser. And so that's my, so the first element of the array, so that's my initial location. That's my location after one time step, two time steps, so on to location after n time steps, which is the final time. In order to plot the position as a function of time, we need to create an array containing the times corresponding to the time steps. So let's do that. Let's call the array t. And the first element of the array is going to be our initial time, which is 0. And the time after the current time step we will assign to the i plus 1th element of the array. That's going to be ti, that is the current times time, plus the time step h or delta t. So let's see if that works. So I'll run it using save and run using f5. And I see that um, now I have a t is a row vector containing 11 elements. And if I double click on t, I see that it starts off at 0. So this is the time after one time step, two time steps, and this is after n time steps, which corresponds to the final time. And since the final time in our case is 2 pi, that looks right. So I'll dismiss the array browser.